Let's go over this again. Here's a satellite map of an area of Earth. Where is America? Can you point to me this America? No, you can't. Here is an outline of the land claimed by the people who call themselves the United States Federal Government. The way this United States Federal Government is organized is complex, and there are arguments within this mafia system, but this is the essential model. If you want to live in the area that they claim, you must pay whatever fees they assess and obey the rules they decide. If you don't pay the fees or obey the rules, bad things will happen to you. Prison, tasers, even guns if you take it far enough. It's just a mafia shakedown. Now, the state forces everyone in the prime learning years of their lives to spend 12 years either at one of their camps or a camp that they approve of or some education program that they approve of. However, because of the fees extracted and the debilitating regulations imposed on the population that they claim, most people cannot afford to homeschool or have private school. Now, historically, states have not been maintained by force alone, and most people in the area claimed by the U.S. believe both in the legitimacy and the necessity of the state. And if you want to say, well, I wasn't propagandized, my response to you is exactly. Ever wonder why politicians seem to commit political suicide passing unpopular legislation that benefits some corporation? Well, it's because it's just a mafia taking bribes, rotating the parties in and out. But I'm going far afield. We, whatever the hell that is, are not the state. There are people claimed to be citizens by a mafia living on their claimed turf. Perhaps we are a society in the same way a city block under the dominion of, of a mafia have a common enemy and a common struggle against the state. But in no way are we the state any more than we are some mafia.